One day, an HR woman was hit by a bus and killed. Her soul arrived in heaven and she was met by Saint Peter. Welcome to heaven. Before you get settled in, it seems we have a problem. We have never once had HR manager make it this far. What we're going to do is let you have a day in hell and a day in heaven. Then you can choose your eternity, said Saint Peter. St. Peter put her in an elevator, it went down, 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 the doors opened, she stepped onto a beautiful golf course. In front of her were all her fellow HR professionals. They were all dressed in evening grounds. They ran up and kissed her. They played golf and she enjoyed steak and lobster dinner. She met the devil who was a really nice guy. She had great time telling jokes and dancing. When it was time to leave, everyone shook her hand and waved goodbye. So she spent the next 24 hours lounging around on the clouds, playing the harp and singing. Now you must choose your eternity, he said. She paused and then replied, Well, heaven has been great, but I think I had a better time in hell. So she went down, down, down. When the doors opened, she was standing in a desolated wasteland covered in garbage. Her friends were dressed in rags and were picking up garbage for evening meal. The devil came up to her and put his arms around her and laughed. I don't understand, she stammered. Yesterday I had great time here. There was a golf course and we ate lobster. Now all there is is a wasteland and all my friends look miserable. That's because yesterday we were recruiting you, but today you're staff. <laughs> Afternoon, a little boy was playing outdoors. He used his mother's broom as a horse and had a wonderful time until it was getting dark. He left the broom on the back porch. His mother was cleaning up the kitchen when she realized that her broom was missing. She asked the little boy about the broom and he told her where it was. She then asked him to please go get it. The little boy informed his mom that he was afraid of the dark and didn't want to go out to get the broom. His mother smiled and said, The Lord is out there too, don't be afraid. The little boy opened the back door a little and said, Lord, if you're out there, hand me the broom. <laughs> Vampires are sitting at a bar. Bartender asked the first one, what he wants. I think I'll have a glass of blood. Okay, what will you have? He asked the second vampire. That sounds good, I'll have a glass of blood too. And what can I get for you? He asked the third vampire. I'll have a glass of plasma, said the third vampire. Okay, says the bartender. That's two bloods and a bloodlight then. Man goes to see his priest. Father, I'm worried. I think that my wife is trying to poison me. Said the priest, hold on my son. Let me talk to your wife and come back to see me tomorrow. Then I shall be able to give you some advice. The following day the man came to his priest who tells him, Well my son, I have talked to your wife for nearly two hours. My advice to you is, take the poison. Johnny is working away furiously in the woodwork room when the teacher enters. What are you making there, Johnny? He asks. A portrait, replies Johnny. The teacher looks puzzled. A portrait of what? Johnny replies, I don't know yet, sir. I've only made the handles. Man on a business trip is staying in a high-rise hotel with a bar on the top floor. After checking in and seeing his room, he decides to go upstairs. There's only one other patron in the bar. The businessman orders a drink and then watches in surprise as the other patron quickly eats an orange, chugs his beer, and jumps out the window. A minute later, the man returns. The businessman is shocked to see him again eat an orange, chug his beer, and then jump out the window. When the man returns a third time, 
The businessman decides he can do this too. He eats an orange, chugs his beer, then jumps out the window to his... The bartender turns to the man and says, You know, Superman, you're a real jerk when you're drunk. <laughs> Twin boys and gives them up for adoption. One goes to a family in Egypt and is named Amal. The other goes to a family in Spain and is named Juan. Years later, Juan sends a picture of himself to his birth mom. Upon receiving the picture, she tells her husband that she wishes she also had a picture of Amal. Her husband responds, but they are identical twins. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. After trial had been going on for three days, Finley, the man accused of committing the crimes, stood up and approached the judge's bench. Your Honor, I would like to change my plea from innocent to guilty of the charges. The judge angrily banged his fist on the desk. If you're guilty, why didn't you say so in the first place? And save this court a lot of time and inconvenience, he demanded. Finley looked up wide-eyed and stated, Well, when the trial started, I thought I was innocent, but that was before I heard all the evidence against me. <laughs> Jump out of a plane. One is holding a butcher guard, the other is holding a parrot and a shotgun. As they fall away from the plane, the man holding the budgie lets it go. A moment later, the man with the parrot lets go of his bird and takes a lame shot at it with the shotgun. They both hit the floor. In their dying moments, one turns to the other and says, I don't think much of this budgie jumping. The other man turns to him and replies, no, I don't think much of this high-altitude parachute. <laughs> While robbing a home, a burglar hears someone say, Jesus is watching you. To his relief, he realizes it is just a parrot mimicking something it had heard. The burglar asks the parrot, what's your name? The parrot says, Moses. The burglar goes on to ask, what kind of a person names their parrot Moses? The parrot replies, the same kind of person that names his Rottweiler Jesus. 